Hi everyone, a very very welcome back to my channel and this video is based on the review of the CAP examination. I didn't find some reviews based on some video reviews of the CAP so I thought of me contributing to the same. So I happened to pass my CAP exam on 17 June. I thought I'll be making it on that day only but I was procrastinating. Anyways, so how was this exam? I would say I gave so and so. It was not very basic, like as the exam would say that it's purely basic. You should know, like if you if you pass this with good amount, that means your basic is well uh, curated, which is what actually the exam tests. Because yes, the exam is very basic compared to how huge the current cyber security trend or market is but you also have to make sure that you actually sit down to study because this the type of question you will be facing is a bit challenging if you have no experience with bug bounty or weapon testing then it's a challenging so i would say for this course it's better to have or to deal with more and more HTTP requests because this will be demanding that. Now another fact is you can see that I have not passed with merit so you can understand that I did a so and so exam like it's not very huge. I think I passed with 72% uh, yeah on 70% I did on CMSP and 72 despite I like I would say the 2% got increased because I have some experience with weapon testing but yeah now how to prepare for it and what to do what not to do what type of questions will be coming I'll be sharing this in this video um, for the cap exam make sure you very well go, go through this because unlike CNSP in CNSP some of the topics were not covered like they have given more topics compared to what were being asked in the exam or it could be like I got some different set and they are having some different set of questions for every exam givers maybe i don't know but make sure for cap examination you go through each and everything because question from each and everything will be asked now this is number one number two what type of question might be asking we all you should be aware of all the attacks with their http request and responses okay so like for example if they tell you like this if I go over here you will be getting one question like this hold on yeah so they might give you one question like this okay and in this question they might ask you that hold on let me just open it in a new window yeah they will be giving you this request and they will be asking based on this request determine which type of attack is this okay or sometimes they might say you based on this request and response determine which attack is this so you should be well familiar with the request and response and this might be looking very easy and people might tell that it is lfi but this is not lfi okay so be very very careful and confident on what answers you choose okay number one number two for every kind of attack make sure you are well familiar with the http request headers because there will be for example they might be telling that um there's, there's a click checking and in order to prevent click checking which http headers is important so you will be seeing some, some options and you might find some are overlapping or both are needed or, you, or they might be giving for click jacking I am using this header so which attribute will prevent what so make sure you are going through that now what I mean by that for example I am telling this one x frame options okay so if I am using this one so they might must might be telling that the website is using x frame option and they are trying to achieve this now based on this what should be the attribute type like the deny or same origin okay now there could be like what to say there could be questions where you will be asking on the nitty-gritty attribute type okay like for example 
I would say the best will be if you go to this MD and web docs and go to this learn go to learning area and then I think you will I don't know where it was oh you have to go to references MD and go to references go to HTTP okay and go through entire thing especially HTTP headers go through everything okay do, do not leave anything they will ask they will be asking questions about chords and you should be knowing what are these meanings of it and what are the attributes like for example if i can see over here mm, not content length content content type probably yeah this type of thing okay so they might be asking somewhere boundary is given sometimes boundary is not given or this is given this is not given so what will happen so based on this it must might be there there will be a question report uh, regarding hsts if you don't know what hsts is so i think what was the header i forgot the header for hsts so there will be question regarding hsts as well so make sure you go through the http request in a very well manner because there will be way too much screenshots and way too much http based question compared to cnsp in cnsp it was more about your packets oriented like what will happen if i send a sin packet to a closed port 22 which is behind a uh, behind the firewall and is uh, behind the firewall so what can be the outcome okay so this is about the cns but in cap it's more about screenshots they will be posting a http request header and they will be telling determine the web attack that has happened or determine which we, uh, which header is missing and due to this misconfiguration what can be the issue there can also be something like uh, they will be giving you a code it can be a php or a python code i don't quite remember because again i think i gave this exam i passed this cap exam on 17th yeah so on the same date i passed so they will be asking questions on that thing like um, they will be giving you a code a sample code a python or a php code and they will be asking like based on this code what are the vulnerability that are present okay based on this code what can you exploit or what or which parameter can be exploited based on the code so make sure you are going through that as well because it's needed but i would say for this thing it's better if you yeah this is one of the sample question and this question actually came to me which of the following headers helps in preventing the click uh, click jacking attack yeah this one this uh, strict transport security this is for hsts okay this one is the one so you have to make sure that you know the headers and their attributes okay so these are certain things that you should be well aware of so also i would say one thing for study resources do excessive amount of chat gpt that's that will help you and give you a curated answer and for that i would suggest you to go to ports figure and learn ports figure has a good amount of stuffs take out the topic learn everything in ports figure and don't be in a hurry to solve the ports figure challenge lab but make sure to understand the http request and response in a very well manner if you want to know if you want to not only crack the exam but also to have a pure pure finer uh, pure finer what to say um, knowledge on web security so this is about the cap and how will be the exam format i already i think i showed you how will be the exam format the questions like there will be hold on let me show it to you one second though i shared it in my previous video only but it's fine i can like show you now as well uh, yeah this one
yeah like this okay so this is the thing this ticket okay so this is how the exam will be so again a very very best of luck to all of you who is preparing for it and congratulate who has passed this exam and yeah this is all about the review and go ahead and just crack it this is easier and yeah so see you guys on the next video till then have a good day and bye bye